drive in that. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the Wild Huckleberry on what I hope is going to be a celebration day. Because look up, what do you see? We have clouds. We have clouds and it's raining just a little tiny bit. Oh gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so hopeful. So hopeful. We might get some rain today. It probably won't be a, an appreciable amount, but we might get some rain today, guys. That'd be so exciting. <clears throat> we need rain so, 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 so bad. But right this minute, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to replace these batteries on this stinking chicken door again and see if that could help. I'm going to, I'm, I'm tired of fighting this. I'm really tired of fighting this door. Let's get this set up. We are getting rained on, guys. I'm so excited. All right. Hello, big boys. How are y'all? Hang on, chickens. I'm trying, I'm going to try to do this, and then I'll let y'all out. Can't hold on to the batteries very well. Come out. Okay. Gosh, the rain's getting harder. I may have to stash my camera. I don't want it to get wet, but I'm loving that it's raining a little bit right now. And it's cooler. Come out of there, please. Thank you. Okay. That way, you know. All right, watch out, Lou. Coming, guys. I'm coming. Okay. Put the screws back in it. Let's see what it does. Well, that was a lot easier time putting the screws back in it than I had last time. Luna, I would move if I was you. If this works. Yeah. Nope, it's still going to act the same way. It's just not going to work. Ow, hey, don't take my finger. <laughs> okay, guys, y'all go eat. I got to go get stuff done. I don't know if y'all saw that or not. Oop, I left something in here. Excuse me, Farkas. I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but when I, as the door was coming up, one of them decided to pick my pinky. Whew. Okay. All right. I'm going to go up here and feed. I'm going to have to stow the camera for the moment because it's pouring down rain. Well, okay. It's as pouring down rain as it has been in a long time. So I don't want the camera to get wet. So I'm going to stash it for the moment under some cover and I'll get back to you guys in a, just a couple minutes well for you a few seconds it's raining y'all it's raining all right guys so it quit raining daggummit look at the sun right there behind the clouds isn't that pretty I just love looking at the, the way the light plays off the clouds and all that it's so cool. It's uh, just another of God's wonders in the way He paints the sky for us all the time. And I can't help it. I love looking at it. I just think it's uh, one of those great things that He gives us that we need to appreciate. Because He gives it to us every single day, just in different ways every day. And then... Check this out. I gave the cows a little treat. Some uh, Timothy hay. Hello, Clint. 
And so everybody's up here enjoying it. Even the goats are in on it, some too. I'm going to give them another bale because they have completely finished off the hay bale that I gave them. Well, they finished it off, but a lot of it is on the ground too, especially thanks to this big boy. When well, Natasha said instead she wanted to go get her some more of the goat feed, but uh, they're enjoying that. I'm going to give them another bale of, another round bale this afternoon or two actually not just one i'll give them two but uh anyway it's time to get ready and go to church i'm teaching sunday school today and for the entire uh month of november so i got to get on in here because i bring the boys donuts every morning when i teach so they'll be expecting it of course they don't i don't know if they know that i'm teaching today or not the guy who's supposed to be teaching today <clears throat> he's gone to Africa, so he can't quite teach from there. So I'll show you real quick what sign you got for the grandkids. They have they were here uh, basically for four days. They were here Wednesday, but they didn't spend the night. But they were here for Thursday, Thursday night, Friday, Friday night, and until what about eight something last night. So <laughs> yeah, we've had some grandkid time for sure. I even grabbed my father-in-law's wheel, old wheelchair and we're playing in it out here. They had a good time and uh, they got to go home last night and be with their mama, which they wanted, but they get a little spoiled when they're here, so they have fun. So anyway, guys, I am going to get in here and get with it and uh, got a little more deer stand repair to show you a little company that I had on doing some things and hope you guys enjoyed the video as Luna's snipping my pockets for the treat that I gave Thor earlier she got her treats but she was hoping to get that one too but anyway you guys have a great one got a little company as I'm buying stuff today Cleo decided she wanted to come with me with her pink sparkly boots and she wanted to ride on here so she's riding on top of the feed and I'm not controlling this very well with one hand I'm afraid so just going to show you we had to get more feed for the animals and Cleo came with me all right so Cleo and I are going to collect eggs tonight so let's go here over here by the rabbits and check first now, Cleo, you remember where the eggs are? Oh, look. There's two in there. All right, put them in here. All right, are there any in there? Look, there's an egg. Put it in there. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey, hey. Look between there. Do you see anything? Yes. Can you get it? I'll get it. I'll get it. Why do bunny? Oh, I mean, why do chicken lay? Why did a chicken lay? A uh, egg in there. Because they like to lay there. I don't know why. Okay. Now we're going to head down here. All right. <laughs> Let's see how many we have in here. All right. Do you see any? Oh, yes. I saw one. I found one. All right. Are there any more? Nope, no more on this side. Ready, let's check the other side. All right. Hmm. Where are some chickens? Uh, oh. Oh, look. We found one. All right. So how many did we find? Okay, I'll count them. One, two. Three, four, five, six. Six. Good job. Okay. And Luna's, our protector, is with us too. Come on. All right. So we got six tonight. We're doing good, aren't we, Cleo? Yep. All right. Good deal. Oh. All right. Well, we're down here to stand this stand back up. Only this stand is on the ground because they clear cut around it 
and the wind got it. This one was, was not knocked over by somebody. So we're, it's not in nearly as bad a shape as mine was. But we're going to put it back together as best we can, stand it back up so we can use it. All right, this one's standing back up again. Ready to go, except it doesn't have steps on it because those steps were not any good anymore. They were about to break in a couple of places, so we're going to have to fix that. But at least the stand is up again. It didn't take nearly the effort, but it still took us all morning. All right, guys. I had to go back to the truck to get something. So for those of you who have never been on a four-wheeler ride, who can't go on one again or hadn't went on one in a long time or whatever, I'm going to take you on a little four-wheeler ride with me to go back up there. So here we go. And just so you know, I will have to go side to side quite a bit to avoid holes. show you guys a few things that are going on down here all right see that right there there's a buck pawing the ground under that tree there I don't know if it's the same one doing it but there are several right up here towards the front of this
this up pretty bad right here when they clear cut. So it's bad rust. Now we're down cleaning up the stand. And there's a small paw right there. And they've been working kind of a double deal here. There's one there and one there. And then there's a nice one right here. Everywhere you see dirt, that's where they've been scraping it out. And he, you can see the leaves. He's been hooking up here. And then just down from that, there's another one. <laughs> you can see where he's been dragging his end of his hooves through it. And you can see where he's been tearing leaves off with his horns. And I believe there is one more. Yeah, there's one more. Right there. And you can see that he's torn the end of that limb off. <laughs> well, I hope this means we're going to see some bucks this year. We'll see how it goes. Check this out, too. Found this at the same spot. This buck's been rubbing on this tree. Because, look, there's the shavings that came off of it. They're all around the bottom of it there. I don't know that a spike has done that, but... I'll give you an idea of how close it is to the stand. <laughs> I believe that we could get him. <laughs>